I'm going to be doing a bookshelf reorganization today, as you guys can probably clearly tell by the bookshelves behind me. It's been about six months since I did one of these. Normally I wouldn't do one six months later. However, I did get new bookshelf toppers. So basically, I don't know if you guys can see those, but up at the very top of my shelves, I have added an extender. Normally the Billy bookshelves are six shelves, I believe six. Yeah. And so I've added an extender to basically get them almost all the way to the ceiling. I had five bookshelves. So when I add five extenders, it basically gives me another new shelf. I didn't really have a whole lot of room to add another whole bookshelf in here, but that is definitely going to give me a lot of room. Combine that with the two unhauls that you have seen me do lately, and I should have an abundance of room to display all of my very, very pretty books. Normally I do my organizations by genre and then by author last name, but I think that this time I'm just going to kind of go off of vibes. We're going to go off of height and what books I feel like go together, which ones I want to display. And we're just going to kind of see how this goes. Never really been a vibes girly, but I'm finding that the alphabetical style doesn't really work for me anymore. And I know what books I have. I feel like I'm going to know what the vibes are and I'm still going to be able to find all of my books. So I guess without further ado, now that I've gotten most of them off of the shelves and onto the floor, which you probably already saw, I'm going to start getting them back on the shelves and I'll just kind of walk you through my thought process, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so for this shelf, I think I'm going to do the Nerdy Ink, just ACOTAR series displayed. They're so pretty. It's probably my favorite Sarah J Mass series as a whole, so I felt like they just needed their own spot. Then we have the Nerdy Ink for the Throne of Glass series down here. I think I'm going to put Crescent City on this shelf too, so let's do that really quickly. Okay, so now I have this shelf. I think mostly done. I don't know that I love these vibes together. Honestly, I know the series goes together, but there's something about the vibes that I'm just not loving here. So while I love the way that this looks and I love the way that this looks, I feel like it's a little bit off in the middle. So I think I may move Crescent City maybe up a shelf and put some different nerdy inks in with these. I'm not really sure. I'm going to play around with it and then I'll come back. Okay. So actually I found some other nerdy ink covers. I have the nerdy ink dress jackets for the Lord of the Rings series and for Percy Jackson. So I feel like these will all go well together next to the other nerdy ink covers. So maybe I'll see what that looks like. We'll try it. I'm too short. So I feel like this looks a lot better for now. This is how I'm going to leave it and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the Crescent City shelf once I get to it but I just need to figure out what else to put on with that. So I'm vibing a lot better with the way that this is looking right now. Basically, I did Crescent City along with Fourth Wing, and then I added my Illumicrate editions of the Atlas Six. And then down here, we have a full Carissa Broadbent shelf, plus a couple of my Arcane editions that I think this shelf down here, just being kind of like blacks and grays, looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to continue with this kind of vibe for now, but I need to find some more books. <laughs> Okay, so I'm absolutely loving the way that this shelf looks so far. Honestly, both of these are just vibes and I am living for it. Obviously, I'm filming this before the release of Crescent City 3, so that will have to go there. I think I will have some room. I'll just have to do a little bit of like shifting over, but I think it'll fit on that shelf. But so far, these are looking so good. I'm so happy. I think I've gotten to a point where I have pretty much gotten everything up that I like had in my head where I wanted it to go. So now we're just going to start putting things on the shelf. I'm going to just see where stuff goes and probably be moving things around a lot. <laughs> I 
have a enough books right now to do a Mark Lawrence shelf. So I think I'm going to end up putting these here. I think that's going to be a nice offset of like more of the black and white books on the other side. So I guess we'll just see how that works. I may end up moving it up or down, just depending. What this looks right now of course it's not all mark lawrence but i feel like it is very mark lawrence and i love that i can put the book that went burn facing out because it is so pretty <laughs> It was getting kind of hot so we had to do an outfit change i'm much cooler now i think on these shelves i'm probably gonna go with my romanticy i do have a lot of like indie romanticy so they're kind of an awkward height so i think i'm gonna go by height for most of these and we're just gonna kind of stick them on see what they end up looking like so but I think we finally got the romanticy shelves pretty much done. Everything didn't fit just absolutely perfectly, but I think it's going to be pretty good. And then I also turned a few like on their sides just to give me a little bit of dimension on these shelves. But so far, I think I really like the way these are looking. Okay, so now I need to do this shelf and then start over on these shelves. I think what I'm going to do for these is probably Brandon Sanderson, maybe. We're going to see how it looks, and if I don't like the way that it looks, I'll move them to this shelf. But the Way of Kings hardcovers are chunky and super heavy, so I want to keep them on the lower shelves if I can, just so that they don't, you know, crack a shelf up top. They've always been on the lower shelves. So we're going to start here, and if I don't like them, then I'll move them up to this side. <laughs> literally all over the place. I know I was just on the floor and now we're back on this shelf. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm slowly getting things put together. I'm just kind of looking around to see what I have and what I think is going to look good in different places. And that's causing a bunch of like up and down jump around situation. So I think I'm going to go with this shelf next. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it though. I think in order to keep everything balanced, I do want to get some um, fantasy books up here. I haven't decided yet whether I want them to be like orbit books, which is kind of what I'm leaning toward because the um, hob shelf is kind of on the far other side and that's all paperbacks. So I think I'm leaning toward putting Orbit paperbacks on this side, but we're just going to start grabbing things and see what works best up here. I lied. I literally think I know what I'm going to do for this shelf. I think for this one, I may do my Django Wexler books because I do have a decent bit of those and I need them all to kind of be on the same shelf. So they'll either go on this one or that one, but I'm going to try them here first. really like the way that those are looking together. Now I've got to figure out what else I'm going to put up here. Okay, so I love, love, love the way that this shelf looks. There's just something so satisfying about having all hardcovers that are the same height and series together. So I think that they look great and I'm oh, I'm so happy with this one okay moving on all right so next we have these shelves these are our 
furthest from the window closest to the door the second one's up i think i want hardcovers on this one as well just because it is a lower shelf so we're going to try to get some of the rest of my fantasy hardcovers on here Guys, I ended up not filming the end because I was just struggling to get all of the books on the shelves. Honestly, I have a ton more room, but because of the way that I'm displaying some of these books, I ended up with not enough room. So it was a little bit of a struggle getting everything on, but I got all of my fantasy and fantasy romance on the shelves. And now we're going to move over and work on some of the horror, thriller, and sci-fi books, which hopefully will be a little bit easier, but I am so happy with the way this is turning out so far. So first and foremost for these, what I'm thinking is I need to get my Darcy Coates collection displayed and then maybe The Expanse because that's the other larger series that I have, as well as some of my special edition copies of Dune. Those are kind of the ones that I'm thinking need to have a more prominent spot on the shelf and then after that we're just going to kind of start throwing things on and see what we end up with. So these shelves are done. I'm really, really happy with the way that these turned out. I'm a little hot, a little sweaty at this point, but got them done. I think that the, I ended up not having nearly as much room as I thought that I was going to, but that's okay. I mean, I have room. I just, with the way that they're facing out, I just will have to move some things around, but I'm really pleased with how these look. I think that they are really adding a lot of color and I, the Florida ceiling shelves are just immaculate. Okay, just a really quick cut in because I did do a couple of extra things after I told you guys I was finished. I actually put on a couple of fake plants as well as got some fairy lights up and I think that it looks really, really good. I'm super pleased with the final product. And these are the horror and thriller shelves. These aren't as much my favorite as the other side, but I still think that they look really good. I actually have an empty shelf on the very bottom and an empty shelf on the very top up here, but we'll fill those up eventually. It just means that I need more books. So definitely have more fantasy than I do horror and thriller and sci-fi, but that's okay. I knew that that was going to be the case. Another video that you guys might be interested in is all of my unread TBR, which I will leave for you here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. As always, links to my Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads are in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys next time. Bye!